What's up, everybody? It's your favorite show, favorite show, Get a Bucket. I'm your host, Trey, and as usual, I hope you're all having a wonderful, wonderful day. And as you can see, we got my guy, Byron, here. Byron, how's everything with you, man? It's going good, man. It's going good. We had basketball this morning. A little banged up. <laughs> a little banged up. <laughs> banged up. Hey, listen, like, it, he, he played well, though, ladies and gentlemen. He played well. He hustled. Um, he was moving them puppies on the defensive end too. I can't lie to you. Like it was a good, it was a good team effort. It was a good team effort. We played about three games, you know, two and one. Uh, we got Ryan and them boys out there. You know, Ryan and Derek lost. They took, they took an L. You know, it's okay though. Nah, they played good too. We got to, I want, I, I, we got to get all new together and just really have a, a solid little five on five game session. Um, I got to hand out a couple more L's. You know, we got to, got to dish out a couple more L's. But um, all right. So let's talk about the NFC, shall we? Let's talk about the NFC South. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is this, this is this is this is my division, okay? And normally I like to save the best division for last. But this might not be the best division. It's tough. It hurts. Um we got the Panthers, we got the Saints, we got the Bucks, and we got the Falcons. Now, Byron, I just I I just need what what's your thoughts on this, fella? Cuz I didn't want to personally say who my prediction is because again ladies and gentlemen i'm a panthers fan As a matter of fact i didn't even want to put my my panthers jersey on i wanted to seem like i'm, I'm biased but like you know i'm I'm, I'm, a, I'm a lean panthers i'm a lean panthers um but like byron what's your what, what's your thoughts do i got is that okay to say is that okay to say panthers uh i mean i like the saints um okay. i think the nfc south is probably one of the weakest divisions in football it's I didn't probably, ask you for that. I just asked for the Panthers. See, see, there's no reason to slander us right now. It's a down year. It's a, it's a terrible year. There's a time when we was at the top. Like, we was boasting everybody in the Super Bowl. We just lost a couple times. But I, I mean, the know. last time that division won a Super Bowl was, what, 2007 with Hurricane I, Katrina? I said, I said we went. I said we went to the Super Bowl. Like, pay, pay attention to the word choice. Oh, my God. I, to listen, them. all I'm saying, and then, and then, and then even, I, even I think that was more or less like a, that's a fake story because I had to get the city. That's another conversation for a different day. Hey, yes. Yo. hundred percent. A hundred percent. The NFL is scripted. Yeah. Yeah. I'm getting off track on this. NFL is scripted. I don't believe they were one of the worst organizations in NFL history. They had people wearing brown paper bags on their heads in the stadium. It was empty. The following year, they go get Drew Brees and win a Super Bowl after Hurricane Katrina. Okay, he was okay. I mean, to be that fair, city like needed that, that city that's needed a, money. That city tough, needed money. It was a tough QB, and that was a way to do that. But I mean, look, he led them for quite some time, bro. That's all I'm saying. But but to be fair, they don't have Drew Brees no more. They don't even have Sean Payton no more. But they still got people like Alvin Kamara, unless he left. I don't, I don't think so. Nice they still got, you know what I'm saying, Mike Thomas, unless he left. I don't think so, though. Like, cause the way Keyshawn be talking, he talking about his nephew about to be right back at him. So I'm like, you got a solid defense to boot to. I do understand why you say Saints, because, you know, if, if I got to take my unbiased yet biased answer out of it, I would lean Saints, too. Yeah, I, I just want to I just want to come to a conclusion real quick. Um. Byron, you said that the NFC was trash. Just to clarify, like you, you said, as a whole, as a unit, as an organization, the NFC was trash. Is that right? Like, is that is that is that was that right earlier? Absolutely. Um, absolutely. I did it. Aggressive. Absolutely. If I would, if I were to have the top ten teams in the NFL right now, and I did this last week, only two of them are NFC teams. What two teams that two. Nazi is that? 49ers and who? Eagles. And the Eagles. Yep. There's, on, there's only two teams that I would even consider. And I think, because I was looking at NFL Network or ESPN's rankings, the power mm -hmm. rankings, I don't know why the Cowboys are fifth or sixth. That is, the, that is crazy talk. Well, I mean, talent-wise, they, talent they, they, they up there now. I, I, don't, I don't think you can be too disrespectful about that. Yeah, but, yeah, but talent-wise, but if you, if you look at, and this is no order, Give me Kansas City, give me Philly, give me San Francisco, give me Cincinnati, you give me uh you give me Baltimore, you give me the, the Chargers, you give me the uh I, I, the, um, I see yeah, I mean you give me it's just it's just too many and I can keep going with the AFC with the AFC. Like you give me all these teams. If you look at the AFC East that we talked about the other day, 
they got three teams who can win that division. Like who who could arguably go to the AFC Championship? Give me the AFC. Give me the AFC uh, North, right? AFC, I mean, um, AFC East. You got even even the Patriots who are supposed to be the worst team I, I, I'm in that division. I, I'm, I'm gonna stop you right there, Byron. Now you're talking about now. You, now we're being disrespectful, respectfully. Like I can't put the Patriots over too many teams like that. I would not. Say no, no, Patriots. I'm not. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying they're the bottom yeah. tier of that division. They're the bottom tier of that division, and I still yeah, don't think that they'll is, be that bad. It's that, stout. That's the, yeah. That's, that's my point. That's stout. You got Miami. You got the Jets, and you got and you got the Buffalo. You see what I'm saying? But those are three teams. So I can name three teams from the AFC East, three teams from the AFC North, three teams from the AFC West. I, I can name the Broncos, who I think will be good, the Chargers, and Kansas City. That's nine teams who I believe Yeah, but that ain't, than, this ain't typical, though. Normally, it's like you get yeah, Cowboys, Eagles, <laughs> you got Packers in there, Vikings are made a push. Yeah. Although you might say bottom of the pack. Um, one of the teams from the South might make a noise. I might make some noise. But typically, it's been like the Saints. Um, and then, like, the Seahawks. 49ers, Rams, they just been having like a, a, a little lull, if you will. Um, well, not not 49ers, but like they're normally in the top tier running as well. So I, it's you know it's just a down little a down little stint. But to say the NFC as a whole is trash, I think they, we might have some teams that surprise you by it. I think we might, but um, we're gonna have to see because again, I just I just wanted to make sure I had that on record to always research. Yeah, absolutely. Another time. Another time. But uh, no, nah, I appreciate it, Byron. Thank you for definitely coming on to the show, my boy. Do you have anything you want to say before we close up shop? No, nah, man. I hope y'all have a great Labor Day weekend. Enjoy y'all day off and things like that. Y'all be blessed. Definitely, definitely, definitely. That's a dope shirt you got, by the way, my boy. It's a dope shirt you got there, by the way. But appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you all enjoyed that. We just covered the NFC. Uh, we also got some uh, wide receiver debate as well, AFC discussion, a whole bunch of NFL. Because, again, we all, it's called Get a Bucket, but we talk about football and other sports as well. So I hope you all enjoyed it. So please like, subscribe, comment, tell anyone, anyone about the show. Hope you all have a good one. Take care. Not know you guys were still here. As, as, as you can see, we're at the back end of the show. No pun intended, but look, hope you all enjoyed it. And before you go, please subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow the IG account, share the content to anybody who's anybody. And most importantly, leave your thoughts and comments below. But I gotta go back and play Buddy in 2K, so let me unmute him real quick. Excuse me. Hey, boss, I'm back. Nah, you better catch this word. You know, we get buckets around here,